So this is it then, the final of Race of Champions Nations Cup 2023. It's the All-Stars, Thierry Neville and Felipe Drogovic against the reigning champions, Team Norway. Father and son duo of Petter and Oliver Solberg. This first race will be Neville versus Petter Solberg. Who's your money on? This is tough. I think uh, both Thierry and Petter have been fantastic. This is hard. This is hard to, to call this one. Very tough. I think very, uh, very tough. the one uh, the one the pressure is on is maybe Dragovic in, in the next race coming. Uh, you know, Thierry is a rookie in race of champions. Yes, but he's got so much experience on snow and ice like this. But uh, Dragovic to take it all the way to the final. With, without having raced this before, it's fantastic. But now, that's what Petr Solberg versus Thierry Neville. So Solberg on the right with the yellow flash on the screen. It's Neville on the left with the red flash on his screen. In the Cupras, into turn one. Tight, narrowing and tightening on the inside line. It's a, a double left, long left-hander on the outside line for Neville. Uh, Neville has looked brilliant today, so too though has Petter Solberg. It's going to be very, very tight, difficult to choose between these two lovely lines. A little bit hard to see there for Thierry on the outside. Uh, you know, a lot of snow getting thrown up over to his side, but it was only for a brief moment. And he has to go through the chicane, up the hill. Little jump down the start finish stretch there shouldn't be too much of a gap between them and look at the look at the dents now in the in the uh, in the in the ice the, the grooves that have been formed down there into turn one tell you what Thierry has made a fantastic opening lap usually with these cars we see it kind of within a second or second and a half but uh, what a first lap Thierry has made here to already pull such a gap on Peter right on board and now take a look at Thierry Neville, the Belgian flag waving behind his car. A great first lap, just a couple of corners remain. The left, right to bring it back on the start, finish stretch. And Solberg, very sideways, clattering the barriers, very close, very tight between these two. Neville sideways and over the line, it's Neville who takes the first win in the final over Petter Solberg. It's 1-0 to the All-Stars. Yeah, what a start. Maybe Petter lost a bit of time going into fast to that chicane. That's a, that's a corner that they're not used to doing. They're used to the rhythm being kind of different there. Uh, but even without the mistake, I don't think it would have been enough to beat Thierry. Just too good today. Neville looking fantastic. And the lineup next will be Drogovic. His first time on snow and ice against the man that I don't think anyone wants to race right now, and that's Oliver Solberg. It's quite an asking of Dragovic, but they do have the upper hand. The rookies, the rookies are leading the reigning champions after one round. And remember, it's not about time anymore. Yep. So this is just point to Team All Stars. All about the wins. It's 1-0, best of five. So first to three wins the final in the Nations Cup and we've changed cars away from the Cupras to the Polaris. Does this go in the favour of, of Felipe here? Do you know that, what it might? That, that, you know, you take Oliver out of his comfort zone a little bit. I don't think we've seen Oliver in the Polaris today. So uh, out of any car that Felipe could have chosen to, to race at this point, I think it would have been this one. It's a level playing field. There is Oliver Solberg. Still won't be easy to beat. No, 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 no. He's on form today. There he is. <laughs> Ready for the off. What a lineup. What a lineup. These two youngsters, Drogovic and Solberg. It's Drogovic on the left in the blue. It's Solberg on the right in the red. And we're racing at the race of champions. It's so important to get these first couple corners right now because you're not into the rhythm of this car, what it's like yet. You haven't really felt it, but you s the time is still going. You need to be fast already from, from this point. Drogovic. It's another little bite at it. Riding on board with him now. Really hustling it through the corners. 
some nice and tight lines from him, but uh, I think Oliver has maybe opened up a slight gap already. Looked very committed there through turn two and into three. It's the pace and the commitment that, uh, that Solberg is, is showing, and the adaptability as well to be able to switch between cars as he takes the jump. Dragovic through the final corner and down the start-finish stretch. Gap between them, 3.4 seconds, it's pretty close. It's not, it's not much for Felipe to go by for this second lap, I think. He's got to pull something nice, something extra out of the bag to beat Oliver in this run. It's going to take a pretty titanic effort to beat Oliver Solberg today. Even in the Polaris. Even in the Polaris. There is Dragovic, here comes Solberg. One watches on, all friends back at base, out on track. Quite the opposite. And Solberg is already up and over the jump. It was a good effort from Felipe Drogovic. But Oliver Solberg is unstoppable. And frankly, right now, is looking unbeatable. I don't think he's lost a single race yet today. Phenomenal. And, uh, Absolutely phenomenal. He's done it with margin. The, the own... He hasn't raced the area yet, though. That will come next. Thierry took a commanding win against Petter in the race before. I'm looking forward to that. So to it's 1-1. One. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. Best of five. Three races left. That's what we like. It's a tie. Yeah, they've definitely given us a great show today. Great fun. I can't, I just can't predict. I, I, I think at this point, Norway are my favorites. But uh, it's so hard to tell. So hard to call. They are Sorry. they are the reigning champions after all. But uh, can the rookies beat them? I mean, it's a story alone that the rookies have made it all the way to the final, having deposed uh, a number of teams who might easily have expected to beat them. Uh, but the All Stars take heat one. Norway takes heat two, and we ride now to heat three, and it will be. All to play for. So here we are in Sweden then. Two heats down. Three still to come in the final for the race of Champions Nations Cup. Down in the pit lane, uh, Neil Cole has managed to find Tanner Faust. Tanner, it's great being in here, watching the drivers getting ready for the final. I know you wish you were in the final. Talk us through your, your day so far. Uh, well, we had a tough draw with the All-Stars. You know, when you get beat, it's always nice to see them go to the finals. And Neville was my first draw. It was quite quick. He got me by a second and a half. And then in the second run, I needed to make up some time. And uh, the car, unfortunately, just shut off. Um, so it's very rare to have a technical issue. But uh, in that instance, the run just does not count. And then the pressure was on for Travis to take down one of the fastest guys here. And uh, he was very close, but didn't happen. So we're in our civilian gear now. Uh, we're cheering on the teams. The racing's unbelievable. So glad to see a race within one thousandth of a second. And uh, you know, the fans here are loving it. It's, it's just an amazing event. And you got some track time to pre prepare for tomorrow for the race of champions. What have you learned from the track today? Uh, well, the track changed so much quicker today than in the practice days in the previous day. So much time on the track. So uh, the difference between the grippy bit and the slippy bit is so much bigger now that there's a big cushion. And then when they go out and they sweep it, really they just sort of move the sand around kind of is what it looks like. Um, so there's never a huge amount of grip. What it means essentially is you just have to send it in, use a lot of side angle and kick the dust off the side of the tire. It kind of messes up the guy on the outside because he gets sprayed with snow dust. But um, as you can see from the Solbergs, maximum commitment pays off. And finally, this is the final. It's tight already. Who's your money on to actually take the crown? Oh my gosh, I mean, I can't, I can't go against the Solbergs. First of all, I love the father-son team. And I know there's a lot of sons here and a lot of fathers here on other teams that look at this and envy uh, how the Solbergs get to live their life uh, playing with each other like this and competing. Uh, but um, 
you can't underestimate. Neville is like unbelievable, and uh, so is Philip. Philip. So um, they they've been, I think, surprising a lot of people. You have some of the most experienced and some of the least experienced in the finals, and it's going to be a battle. But I think father son may do a repeat. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's right, isn't he? About you know that commitment from from Oliver, how how he's approached this, that it, just maximum attack. Yeah, he hasn't been afraid to to make any any mistakes in any way. He's just been flat out, and he has been super accurate in in the way he's driven. So it's been a pleasure to watch. It's final time. First two heats are done. One apiece. One for the All Stars. One for Team Norway. Now Drogovic goes again. This time against Petter Solberg. It's a lot to ask of Felipe again, saying this that uh, he's coming from from Formula Two. He's the reigning champion there. No question that he's a fantastic racing driver. But uh, to take him so far out of his comfort zone. Let's see if it can be Petr Solberg here. And off we go. Great start from Solberg. Drogovic slightly slower away from the line. With a tighter inside line. Drogovic in the orange. Petr Solberg in the blue and yellow. It's going to be a titanic effort if Drogovic can beat Petr Solberg, given his massive experience in these kind of conditions and these kind of cars. One of the all-time rally greats. The Drogovic. We've learned one thing about him this week is that he adapts and learns very, very fast. The track right now looking very clean on the inside. You see that the ice, the, the, the loose snow on top has been all thrown out to the outside. So I do think there is a fair bit of grip if you're on the line. But uh, if you miss the line, you go off, you, 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 you miss the apex, it's devastating. Petter is losing a lot of time here, isn't he? So Drogovic, 8.6 seconds back. That is, a, that is a big gap. That's a big, big gap. And the car is mixed, mixed up. There is Holberg, absolutely flying. Just in complete control. Really in the groove. Metaphorically and literally around this track. So at ease, so at home. No hesitation, as we just said. Just a great run from start to finish. And it, do it doesn't seem like they're afraid of making any mistakes. They're, they're just fully committed and, and they do hit, you know, they do go on the racing line all the time. Haven't put a foot wrong so far. And they take the lead in the finals here against Team All Stars. 2 1, Petter Solberg, big smiles all round. And the Nations Cup can be decided in the next race. It's going to be Oliver Solberg against Thierry Neville. Can Neville do what no one has done today and beat Oliver Solberg? It's a tough ask, but if, if anyone can do it, it might be Thierry. I think you're right. I think you're right. You see how, how the clean the track is there on the inside. I'm, I'm sure that gives a lot of grip. Yeah. And you have to carry more speed and use that grip. The risk, though, being that you carry too much speed and end up in the snow where there is zero grip right now. So the track is very demanding for the end of, of, of the racing today. Brilliant run from Petter Solberg. Felipe Drogovic has done so well this week. No shame at all uh, in coming home behind Petter Solberg, given all of his experience, given all of his knowledge. Are we looking at the eyes of the champions for 2023? Can Oliver Solberg claim the title for Team Norway in this race, or uh, can Thierry Neville take it to a deciding final race? It's Oliver Solberg, Thierry Neville. For the race of champions, Nations Cup, it's a green light and we are away and racing. Neville on the inside in the black car, Solberg on the outside in the blue car. Nice, neat, tidy so far. Oliver Solberg has been unbeatable, but can Neville do what no one else has been able to? To ride on board with them both. Two drivers with beautiful aggression here. 
you see them flicking the car in and out. You know, they're, they're right on the limit, putting the wheel very near that loose snow on the outside, but staying in that grip, and that's so crucial. If you're not in the grip, you're not going forward. Already up and over the jump then for Solberg. Over the line, Oliver Solberg, and oh. now through comes Thierry Neville. What's the gap? It's about exactly where it needs to be. It's 4.9. So, so close, can so Thier close. Can Thierry Neville take down Oliver Solberg, who's looked so strong today? It's incredibly close between these two. This will be for championship honours. We watch Oliver Solberg. Can he defeat Thierry Neville? Can Neville do what no one else has been able to do so far today and take the victory against Oliver Solberg as we look on at Petter? Are they about to be crowned champions once again in 2023? There comes Neville in the background. Solberg in the foreground in the blue. It's going to be very, very close. But Norway are going to win the Nations Cup. Oliver Solberg, unstoppable, unbeatable and champions once again. He hugs Felipe Drogovic, Petter Solberg. Oliver Solberg uh, brings the car home. A brilliant, peerless, magnificent demonstration from Oliver Solberg, who is, frankly, unbeatable. Just sensational today. He has put in such an incredible performance today. Unbeaten in every single race. Whoever he was up against, he took the win. And in style, with margin, look at him now, this is his moment. <laughs> he deserves it, deserves every moment. Petter will run out to go and join his son. Today, they are teammates. Tomorrow, they will be rivals. Petter and Oliver Solberg, Team Norway. You've got to love Nations these two. Cup champions once again. Father oh. and son taking, taking the win against the very best nations in the world in race of champions here and now they get to celebrate on top of the world what a beautiful story and as tanner faust was saying it's something that everyone here who is a dad um, is so envious of that, that these guys get to race together as father and son they get to compete and win champions in 2022 Champions in 2023, back-to-back -back snow and ice champions, Team Norway.